Hi, I've got uh, my trial copy of Home Designer Suite open here with a simple test plan. And Suite is the least able home designer app that they make. But I thought I'd show you some basic things which are true from Home Designer Suite all the way up to Chief Architect Premier. Just, you can close the space, then you can open that space's dialog box. And these names up here in this drop down menu are not just names, they're room attribute programming commands. Now, some of these are, are not very different, like patio, porch. Well, let's just sit, take a look at them. We'll do porch. And it says porch. Now, porch has certain attributes, like go over here to the structure uh, materials. It's by default has a concrete floor. And the walls are by default concrete. I don't think the walls are going to be concrete in this case, but uh, let's take a look. Nah, we've got drywall on the ceiling, and, but a concrete floor. You get the idea. Now, if I wanted to call this uh, something else, that's what this lower line is for. I can leave the, you choose the programming command name, which most closely uh, defines the room type. If you, we change it to living, see that says living, and we'll go over here to materials and the floor finish have been changed to wood flooring. It's no longer concrete. So you see, it's not just a name, it's a general programming attribute programming command. Okay, now on to your question. If I wanted to call this the great room, I could just type in, it's still programmed basic for basically being a living room, but now it's gonna display the name great room. See? We go over here and uh, now attic is just for attic. It's not for a living space floor. And balconies for an exterior room without a, uh, well, I was going to say without a roof, but uh, well, let's just call it a, if you, if you want to change the attributes, you can click this icon here and it updates it. But on a balcony, let's see, by default, yeah, see, a balcony has no ceiling and no roof over this room. If you name it balcony, that it's going to automatically not have a roof or a ceiling. And you go over here and change this to uh, bedroom. We'll open the dialog. And it has a flat ceiling and a roof over this room. And the, the flooring is a uh, wood maple flooring in this case. This is out of the, out of the box default. You can see the ceiling finish is white and the walls are drywall. Yeah. So that's about all you need to understand that like, this uh, measurements here, I, that's a layer that I, I commonly don't use. And you just go up here to tools, display options, and go over to, down to the rooms. And there's a checkbox, the interior dimensions. You, you can display area, interior dimensions, and one or the other, either area or dimensions in suite. You have more choices in, in Home Designer Pro and Chief Architect Premier. But anyway, I commonly don't use that, so I just turn it off and use the labels. I, since the measurements aren't completely accurate because they're somewhat rounded off, I don't use them. I like to use real dimensions and just display the names. So I hope this certainly addresses your question or implied questions. And that uh, if you don't like the bedroom, are you going to name it bedroom one? 
two, three, four, five, whatever, whatever, whatever makes sense to you. So that's about it. I hope this helps you and clarify that that matter and uh, whether it does or not, have a great day. Thank you.